This video demonstrates the technique of deconstructing sociocultural narratives. Welcome back, Benu. Where would you like to start today? I would like to talk about the box. Okay. Paint me a picture of the box you started to visualize last week. It is ugly green. Like gym locker green. With a big combination lock. What else can you tell me about the box? It has four small air slots on the front. That is also the only source of light inside. The inside of the box is black, so that makes it even more scary and confining. Where are you in relation to the box? I'm stuck inside most of the time, trying to get enough air and trying to figure out how to pick the lock from the inside. If we were able to attach some labels to the outside of the box, what might those be? You are just a girl. I want grandchildren. Family first. Be realistic. Don't aim too high. That is a real mix of messages about culture, gender, ability. Let's choose one to start with. You're just a girl. That overlaps gender and culture. I like being a girl, but I don't like being that girl. What characterizes that girl? She's quiet, obedient. She wears skirts. She lets others make plans for her. She doesn't think too much of herself or aim too high. She doesn't sound much like the strong, bright, young woman. I see sitting across from me. We are all exposed to messages about gender that may not be healthy or empowering. Where do these messages come from for you? From mama. And my aunties. From people at the cultural center. My math teacher. He's easier to dismiss though, because he's so, clearly, sexist. Some of those other messages or message sources, don't seem so easy to dismiss though. When we hear these messages from people we trust, they tend to stick to us. I guess that is why, they are sealing me into that box. Maybe I need to figure out how to be more choosy, about what I let stick to me. Are there other messages, that you might prefer to wrap around you? My science teacher used to be a biophysicist. I'm in such awe of her. She is helping me complete university applications. She says, I have unlimited potential.